Hi there, welcome to Goods In from TDCAT Tech. Today I'm looking at this. This is the Sony XDR P1DBP. Yes, a catchy product name from Sony there. As ever, always catchy product names from Sony. This is a radio. It's a digital radio, a DAB radio, a DAB plus radio, and an FM radio. That's about it. I've looked at this a number of times on Amazon and on the Sony website, and there's just something about it that I just think it's so beautiful. The fact that this, it's just got this classic, almost like 90s Sony design to it. It's very, very simple, no clutter, no messing around. It just looks like, you know, it's just going to do the job you want it to do. And this thing, I thought this was small, right? But this is tiny. I mean, my hand sits over the top. This is the box as well. I mean, I don't know whether, <laughs> I don't think this is to scale. <laughs> I don't know, it might be. But anyway, this is a goods in video, so let's get in the box and see what we get inside. <laughs> let's say Big Sound by Digital Amplifier. Hooray. Yeah, a big sound. Three favourite buttons on the top. Very nice. Rechargeable battery and micro USB charging. Let's take a look inside the box. All right, first out, we have our micro USB cable. Look at that. So we're bringing you up to date here. You know, I mean, this is a product from 2015. Yeah, so uh, five years old now, this product. But uh, a standard micro, micro USB cable, except for the fact that this thing, look at this. It's got these RF suppressors, whatever you call these coil things on, on either side. How often do you see that on a micro USB cable? Heaven's sake. I haven't seen that on a USB cable for years, particularly on both ends. Anyway, there we are. That's what it's got. And then we have an absolute look at that in there. Look, that here, this is all, all booklets. This is just booklets of different, presumably different languages. And uh, there we are. Look. <laughs> absolutely crazy is it really necessary to send all this out anymore i mean surely you know a lot of people who've got who are getting this thing i don't know maybe not with a radio but um i just would have thought that most people would have access to this stuff online i don't know maybe that's a bit of a leap and there we go i think that's about it that's all we've got and then in the bottom here wrapped in this lovely stuff that you get kind of um cameras sent in listen listen to that is the radio itself and it is pretty small wow look at that let's, let's give you a really nice close-up look at this and you know this is my hand so my hands aren't particularly big tiny weeny thing Yeah, there's our uh, three three buttons on top. I've sorry, seen various reviews online, and a lot of people complain about this breaking after a certain amount of time. They say this is a particularly kind of weak spot on the radio. So I uh, have to wait and see, see how that goes. Oh, there we go. Look, I've managed to power it up, and it's going to just do an auto-tune now. I don't know how much it'll get in here, but um, let's see what it does. It's going to scan now. And it really isn't too much to this. It's just a single speaker. Of course, it's stereo out on the headphones and uh, it supports the DAB Plus standard. I, don't, I have no idea if we're even using that in the UK yet. And this, is that just like an up down, up down thing? It's like a little, yeah, a little up down toggle kind of button there. Switch between DAB and FM into the menu, auto tune, which it's doing now. And uh, back. Oh, there we go. Yes, it has got something. I can't play too much of this, of course. So uh, I'm going to have to. Uh, There we go. Volume button on the side there. Headphone out. And uh, it's a built-in telescopic antenna, standard kind of whip antenna, which I'm going to just extend now. And I can say to you, because you can't see it on all on camera, but I can say to you that that extends to about 40 centimeters. So um, slightly shorter than your average quarter wave FM antenna. But um, I'm sure it's absolutely fine considering the frequencies involved in DAB. <laughs> just got to get a bit of metal poked up there somewhere, really, haven't you? And yeah, so even with me just holding it here like this, it's managed to uh, pick up absolute radio 80s. Not quite sure I'll ever want to listen to anything like that, but uh, let's have a see, see what, what else it's got in there. Can I just go up and down like this? Yeah, there we go. 
Jack Radio UK. Let's go to something spoken. Like, has it got a BBC? Has it got the BBC thing on the here? On here, so I can go to something like BBC Radio Four. No, it doesn't seem to have picked that one up. That's unusual. Right, well, let's see what's on Mellow Magic. So yeah, just just toggle up and down, and then press push just to uh, to get into it. Just these just these lovely displays. Aren't, aren't they just great? These LCD displays. Let's get in a really nice close up on this. Look, aren't they just fantastic? They're just so clear, and they use so little battery. You just I don't know. I, I personally love them. I think maybe there's an element of nostalgia there for me, but uh, I'm not gonna. You know, you're not gonna have anyone moan at me for that. John Waite there, and uh, missing you. Uh, okay, so sound-wise, I'm not going to say it's amazing, but it is pretty good for the size. It's, you know, you expect it to be incredibly tinny, but it does look to be, does sound to be pretty good for the size. And I imagine for spoken stuff, this is great. I'm just going to try and get the BBC stuff on this. Won't be a second. Right, so I went into the other room, held a the radio up towards the window, put the antenna up and uh, rescan. Takes about 30 seconds or so to do a scan, and it picked up everything, including all the BBC uh, multiplexes as well. So you can see this is on BBC Radio 4. Reception in here isn't fantastic. If I take my hand away, it's not so good, but um, it works okay. Right, and one thing to point out is just it's got this little uh, clip on the back here which just locks into place like that that's a nice nice little addition just because it lets you stand the radio up i mean the radio does stand up anyway but it lets you stand it up when the antenna has to be kind of leaning away and therefore would otherwise cause the radio to topple over so yeah nice little addition this for me is completely you know this I don't need this. I do everything on sort of BBC Sounds if I was listening to BBC stuff as it as is tuned in here, or I would tune in to go to go to kind of tune in or something. I'd, I'd just stream it all through my phone. This kind of thing is completely redundant these days, but it is such a beautiful little bit of almost retro tech from the 2020 or from 2015 when this radio came out. It's just really, really beautiful. I love it. And uh, you never know. I mean, it's really nice to have just an FM radio sometimes. And uh, of course, DAB in this case. But uh, let's have a quick look at um, FM and see whether we can pick anything up on, on FM. It should, of course, be RDS as well. I would hope so. Oh, yeah, it does say on there RDS, doesn't it? Let's go on. Can I, is that, do I just hold it to tune in? There we go. So that should... I picked up Radio 2. BBC. No, just just very noisy actually in here with all the um, screens and stuff. No, I think that's BBC Radio 3. We're going to get anything on. Oh, there we go. Uh, just going through everything. So yeah, it's picking stuff up on uh, on FM too, which is nice. But very very noisy in here on FM. So let's pop that down. Switch back to DAB, and I'm just going to turn this down while I quickly show you the menus on here. So I hold the radio up like this, so you can see a little bit more clearly. If we go into the menu items here. We have a uh, sleep option, which can be set to 60 minutes, 45 minutes, or 30 minutes, or 15 minutes, or you can just turn it off again. And let's go into here, save the preset. DAB, you can manually tune uh, DAB, which is nice. And then it gives you information on the station. So this is BBC Radio 4 we're looking at at the moment, and uh, it's channel 12B on 225.648 megahertz. BBC National DAB Multiplex, and bit rate one to eight kilobits oh dear and it gives you signal level as well which is excellent nice information to have but again nothing new for dab you know you get that on all dab radios and then time can be 24 hour or 12 hour and then you can turn a beep on and off and initialize the radio and that's it really really straightforward nothing complicated about this at all uh charged here on the left hand side through the micro usb port and it has a sort of lithium polymer cell in there and so that's 
that's about it. A couple of questions that I can imagine that someone who would buy this might find important. Uh, so I'll go over just a few that I can think of. Firstly, how long does it take to power up? Well, I'm go I'll do that now. I'll show you. Uh, so I'm going to turn the power button now. And it's on, and now it's tuning. And, how could and there we go. We've got audio on there. So what was that? About four or five seconds? And off. I'll just do that one more time. So on, tuning, and we've got audio. When you're actually changing frequencies, how long does it take to do that? Well, let's go to Heart 80s now, press enter. To be honest, about the same as powering it up. So it takes about four or five seconds to both power up and change frequency. That's on DAB. When you're on FM, let me just go to FM now. One thing that might come up from somebody and would certainly be of interest to me. It's going to switch to uh, FM. I'll turn this down because I don't want to get any copyright matches on here. Uh, when you switch manually between the frequencies, so if I just want to sort of just manually tune and just go up. There is quite a delay. There's no, see some radios have the option where you can hear it permanently. So you can quickly flick through and hear what's going on. Whereas this one does mute when you switch frequencies. And there's quite a delay on each one. So you can't get through that manually very quickly at all, which is a bit of a shame. It would be nice if you could could do that. And um, the other thing, I guess, is does it stand up by itself? Yes, it does. If the antenna is poking directly upwards, if you've got it vertically polarised, as it were, it will stand up. And of course, if it's in line with the radio, so you could have it sort of flat down like that, and it will stand up nicely by itself. And as uh, as I mentioned, it does have a clip on the back here so that if you do want to stand it up with the antenna sort of slightly off to the back like that you can by just putting that clip in place so that's kind of a, a nice touch adding the main three presets is dead straightforward it's just a case of pressing and holding the buttons on the top and the final thing i can imagine that people will want to know is can it be charged while being used and the answer to that is yes so you can plug in micro usb into there you can carry on using the radio and it will charge at the same time uh, you could use a power bank on here as well though sometimes power banks will turn themselves off if the uh, current drawn for charging isn't that great and i'm not quite sure how big a current this will actually pull when charging so it could be the case that it turns your power bank off automatically but I imagine it'll be fine. So yeah, you can charge it via a power bank as well. So, you know, you've always got um, battery power available. Nice little radio. I'll put links in the description if you like this radio uh, and you uh, just enjoy a simple, small, compact radio of this type. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please use those links. And in fact, if you want to buy anything on Amazon, please use those links because, um, well, I'd really appreciate it. But of course, if you don't, that's okay too. But thanks very much for joining me for this quick unboxing of this Sony DAB, DAB Plus and FM radio. I was going to give you the model name, but I've forgotten it now because I haven't got the box next to me. Where's, where's the box? Yes, here we go of the Sony XDR P1 DBP. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.